Risk includes the possibility of losing some or all of the original investments one made. Welcome to another edition of the Nigerian Investor. Last week, we talked about high price stocks and their percentage contribution of total market cap. Today, we want to talk about ordinary shareholders and their unsettled status, the nationalized bank experience. In any publicly quoted firm, ordinary shareholders remain the risk bearer among equity holders, being entitled to vote in company matters based on the fraction of the ownership in the firm. By processes, ordinary shareholders only receive dividends, if any are available, after payments have been made to prevent shareholders. They are last in line after bondholders and preferred shareholders in terms of receiving returns on investments and business profits. As such, ordinary shareholders are simply considered unsecured creditors. A good scenario of the above explanation is the fate of shareholders of the CBN nationalized banks, Bank PHB, Spring Bank, and Nafri Bank, due to the Malam Sanusi, Lamido Sanusi's bank audit carried out in 2009. As a result of the exercise, Amcon acquired the non-performing loans of the banks after the CBN intervention in the banking system and the eventual revocation of their licenses. A few shareholders still raise questions whether they can still trade on the shares they held in the nationalized banks why the simple fact of the matter remains that those banks have since been taken over, acquired wholesale by the regulatory authorities, and they have been officially delisted from the daily official list of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. The evidence of ownership in possession of various shareholders therefore no longer have value arising from this regulatory action, as those banks now belong to APCON upon nationalization by CBN and its new investors who will emerge after the sale of the banks. For further inquiries on the nationalized banks, kindly contact us via our official email sss at prosiang.com. The following agents are upcoming in the market. Stambi Capitalism Audits PSC, 21st of August 2014. C&I Leasing PSC, on the 14th of August 2014. On corporate actions, Stambik IBT's OPC PSC declared a dividend of 1 Nara 10 Kobo with closure date set for 5th of August 2014. And CNI Leasing declared a decob of 4 Kobo with closure date set for 11th of August 2014. NSC urges oil and gas company to explore the capital market. The Nigerian Stock Exchange on Wednesday, July 23, 2014, organized its quarterly CEO dinner as part of its commitment to developing key sector of the nation's economy. The dinner, which focused on the oil and gas sector, had major stakeholders in the industry in attendance. In his welcome speech, the Executive Director of Business Development, NSC, Mr. Arunoy Jalo Asir, reiterated the commitment of the NSC to providing an enabling environment for the development of all the sectors of the economy. Speaking at the dinner, the CEO of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Mr. Oscar Oyema, noted that the major idea behind the CEO dinner is to get policymakers, prospective companies, listed companies, and other stakeholders together to discuss issues that are common to a particular sector and see how such can be advocated for. Oyema also has highlighted the reasons why prospective companies should list on the NSC and the benefit they stand to gain. That's all we have for you on this edition of the Nigeria Investor. Until I come your way again next week, I remain your regular uncle. Bye for now.